Hello everyone, hope everyone is doing okay. Now yesterday I did a tutorial on how to make your web images look awesome. So I was thinking to myself, how about I add uh, another technique or something else to make it look awesome. And what I thought about was maybe a hover effect. All right, so before we get started, let me show you what we'll be designing today. So this is the final product. So these are the three images that, I'll, that we'll be working on. So basically here, the technique is when you mouse over this image, it's going to come to life. So as you can see, it starts off with black and white. And then when you mouse over it or you hover over it, it then turns into color. I also have another example here. So if I, um, this car is really dark and then when I mouse over it, it just comes to life. So all this can be done very, very easy, you know, using a few clicks in Divi. Now, let me show you the last one. Now this one here, brace yourself because this one is a bit creepy. All right, so it starts off here as normal. And then when you mouse over it, look at that. We've managed to invert all the colors. So what I'm gonna do in this tutorial, in fact, before I do that, let me show you what I worked on in the previous video. And if you haven't watched that, I'll leave a link in the comments box. All right, so um, this is what I worked on yesterday. So on the left here, these are the original images. And then on the right, these are the images that I was able to edit. But all this was done in Divi, okay? Everything was done in Divi. So uh, I'm just, I'll just scroll through here. I have a few examples on this image here. This couple, I was able to turn this into a sepia tone. And then over here, this was black and white. And then over here, we just made the, the uh, image look even more awesome. Okay, so this is what I was able to do yesterday, all in Divi. So what we're gonna do now is we are going to add a hover effect. And so people will be able to see that effect when they hover over the image. And this is a quick tip and it's very, very easy to do. So let me show you how. So the first thing I'm gonna do here is to log into Divi. So I'm gonna enable the Visual Builder. And then uh, we're going to create a new layout because uh, this one here is a bit too it's a bit too much. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna come over here and add a brand new row. So I'm gonna click this plus button here and uh, we are going to go with, um, okay, let's go with this one here, okay? I'm gonna choose that and I'm just gonna close this for now. So the next thing I'm gonna do now is to add, I'll just drag and drop these images over here, okay? I'm going to click here, drag it into this position, just like that. And we don't need this anymore, so I'm gonna delete that. So moving on. So all I'm doing here is dragging the originals into these columns. So I'm gonna drag this one here, like that. So now we have two in this column, and then we're gonna go ahead and delete this as we did before. And then we're going to need uh, an image of uh, this couple. So I'm gonna drag it on this column here. Okay, so that's looking good. And then let's go ahead and delete this as well. And then finally, we're gonna have uh, the image of the vehicle. So I'm gonna drag it over here as well, like that, and then delete that. Okay, so what I'm also going to do is, uh, once I finish designing this, I am going to save this layout. Uh, so you can go ahead and download it and use it you know, uh, in your own projects if you want to. Right, so the next thing we're gonna do here is to just make this row slightly wider because right now it's a bit too thin. So I'm gonna click here on my um, row settings, design, and then I am going to come over here to sizing. So all I'm gonna do here is to change my width. So I'm gonna click that and change it to 80%. Great, so I'm gonna go now and save. Uh, in fact, you know what? I may just want to perhaps maybe delete one of these images, okay? Because this is just too much, because the technique is just the same on all the images. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start here with this couple, okay? So I'm gonna click here on this gear icon on the uh, module settings, and then I'm gonna click on design. So as we did uh, in the previous video, all these settings are on the filters tab, so I'm gonna click here on filters. So here's the thing. So what we're going to do here is we're going to come over here to saturation. Now, do you notice that when I put my mouse over here, there's these two items that have just come up, uh, and one of them is this little arrow here. So if you click on that, this is the arrow for a hover effect. So if I click here on hover, now right now, both values are the same, so you won't see any differences, okay? So what we're gonna do here is on hover, we're gonna leave the saturation at 100%, but when we are over here on the saturation on the normal tab, we want to make this image black and white. And this is how it's gonna work. So if I click here on hover, 
we need to bring this back to 100%. Okay, so now we can see when I toggle between these two, it's changing from black and white to color. Okay, and that's just, you know, as simple as that. So that's all we need to do for that. I'm gonna come over here, save. Now, let me show you what you can also do over here. So if I click here again on this image module, I'm gonna click on design, and then I'm gonna come over here to filters. Now, this time we are going to use the brightness, okay? So we're gonna come over here again, we're gonna hover, we're gonna click here on this uh, little tab, and then make it really dark on the default. So just enough so that we can see the, the, uh, the, the car. So that's about, let's, le let's leave it at about 25%. And then we're gonna come over here to the hover, set that to 100, press enter. Uh, in fact, you know what? I need to show you, you know, the two states. So I pressed enter too quickly. Okay, so uh, back over here. So let's go ahead and click on the filters. Right, so on the brightness here, that's how it's gonna look when you hover over it. That's the default. Okay, so that's pretty cool. Now let's come over here to the last one. So I'm just gonna save this. And then over here on the last one, we're gonna go in and uh, click on filters again. And this time, uh, what I'm gonna do here is I am going to invert it, okay? <laughs> this is gonna be quite creepy, but let's take a look. I'm gonna click here and then on the hover tab, make sure you're pressing the hover, the hover tab we are going to invert it like that. Okay, so that's the default. That's the, uh, the hover effect. Okay, so now let's go ahead and save. And then what we're gonna do now is we're gonna preview all these images and see how the hover effect works. Right, so I'm gonna save this page and exit the Visual Builder. Right, so now we have our images. So when someone comes now to your website and they hover over the image, just like that, the color comes on and again, colors back on. Now on this one here, on the car, it starts off dark, and then when you mouse over it, it just brightens up. Okay, and then finally, now this is the creepy one. <laughs> so here it's uh, by default, a normal image, but when you hover over it, boom. You know, now it is, it looks quite creepy. <laughs> okay, so uh, that is how you do uh, extra hover effects on your existing images on your website. So go try it out. Uh, let me know how you get on. If you have any questions, you can ask me in the comments box below. And uh, by the way, if you haven't bought Divi yet, if you buy Divi using my affiliate link, I will give you full access to my Divi Blueprint 3 course. So this course teaches you everything that you need to know about Divi. Uh, it covers pretty much designing a basic website. And if you have any questions, you can always ask me any questions regarding Divi and I'll be able to help you out. So I'm doing this to just help you uh, get off the ground and start using Divi and start designing awesome looking websites. The second thing is, if you're brand new, brand new to web design, I also have a WordPress course. This is absolutely free. It's called WordPress Mastery. Again, all the links are in the description below. You can go ahead, uh, sign up for that course. It's absolutely free. It will teach you how to get started with WordPress. All right, so that's all I have today. Make sure you uh, hit the subscribe button on my uh, YouTube channel because I'm producing a lot of these uh, tutorials every now and again. So this uh, is going to help you become a much better designer. All right, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.